my name is David Vegas, and I'm the Democratic Committeeman of the 49th Ward. What does that mean, really? What does a committeeman do? Well, a committeeman has several responsibilities, some legal and some traditional. Uh, the legal responsibilities are to appoint Democratic election judges for every election, to uh, vote at slate making on the candidates that the Cook County Democratic Party will support in the uh, election, with the primary election, which we just did Thursday and Friday. Oh. And uh, you're the local organizer. This is where you get more into the, tr the tradition is you're the local organizer for the Democratic Party. You recruit volunteers. In the old days, the very old days now, there were lots of jobs you could hand down. And, mm -hmm. But times have changed for the better, and that doesn't happen anymore. So you recruit volunteers, and you try to encourage people to uh, get involved in the Democratic process and to vote for Democrats. You're really an advocate for the Democratic Party as a Democratic committeeman. Um, I work at the Cook County Jail. I've been a healthcare person for all my professional career. Um, I've always wanted to work in government or public service, and uh, I kind of fell into hospitals uh, because I really wanted to do something in government that if some, you know, Chicago, it, it, 20 years ago when I first got a job, yeah. working at the county, um, it was a very political environment, and. I didn't want to end up in a job where the only place you could do it, like say issuing license plates, was for the state because if you lost the job then you had no skills to use anywhere else. Right. So I thought, mm -hmm. my mother's a nurse and you know I've been exposed to health care. My father was sick for a long time before he died and I had a lot of exposure to health care and I thought this sounds like a, a really healthy profession, something that I could do. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't quite have the stomach to become a uh, an actual you know, Doctor. provider yeah, at the bedside. but. Yeah. I found a way to be helpful and I actually provide health care to detainees at both the Juvenile mm -hmm. Detention Center and the uh, Cook County Jail as the administrative, chief administrator, chief operating officer is technically my title. Uh, what are you most proud of? There are a lot of things. I mean, you know, I'm proud of the job I do for the county. I really find myself uh, happy that I'm able to provide care to people who really are probably the most dire in need of it. Uh, as far as committeemen goes, I, I think I've worked really hard to uh, open up the process and to, to have a different kind of organization than uh, most any other organization the city had. Fifteen years ago when I became committeeman, nobody did it the way we did except Evans. And uh, to, to really change the entire way of doing you know, Democratic Party business in the ward is something that I'm really proud of. Can you give me a little more detail about how you changed it? I first became committed, first of all, Joe Moore and I were not friends when we first started out in this business. Uh, Bob Clark was an alderman appointed by Mayor Daly to succeed David Orr, and I was Bob Clark's chief of staff, and Joe Moore was running against him. So uh, we, were, we weren't better rivals or anything, but we clearly weren't on the same side. Uh, Joe won that election, and then the next year later, uh, Lee Preston, who was the state rep and the committeeman at the time, ran an election loss for state rep and decided to run for judge, at which time he had to give up his seat to be the uh, committeeman. He asked, you know, I was the president of the organization at the time, and the way the rules work is that if it's the middle of a term, the precinct captains vote to elect someone to fill out the term, and then the central committee, all the other committeemen, approve that choice. Um, before I, they off, he offered me that job, but before I took it, I went to David and Joe. David Orr and Joe Moore, and I said, look, you know, I have this opportunity to be the Democratic Committee. We've never gotten along in the past. It's always been a fight. It's always been us versus you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to take this job if that's the way it's going to continue. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to agree that we'll try and work together and we'll, we'll, do, we'll work together, then I'll say yes and, you know, I'll become the committeeman and then we'll start working on, on a plan together so that we can move the community forward rather than fighting with each other. Because it, it was really deep then. The, you know, the community council was on one side and mm -hmm. RP Can was on another. And you know, there was really very strong divides in the community. And I thought, this is just not the way to move forward. So mm -hmm. I went to them and they agreed that we would work together. And within two years, they had an organization called Network 49. And we were the Democratic Party of the 49th Board. We, did, we merged those groups together. But one of the things that was very interesting is that whether you were on the, what was called the regular Democrat side or the, the independent side, it was pretty much all white people, no mm -hmm. matter what side you were on. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And that, even then, you know, Rogers Park was a diverse community then too. Nobody was reaching out to the minority community. And uh, that was something that was really wrong because frankly, there's a tremendous amount of minority people in this community that are Democrats. Mm-hmm. And, and I subscribe to the theory that Democrats win when everybody gets involved. So I told them what I was gonna do and I, I set out to do it and I started out with the first board of, of on, on my leadership team of the Democratic Party and we started out on those more than 100 meetings and just mm-hmm. went out and started asking people, hey, why don't you be the founder of the Democratic Party? Mm-hmm. You know, some people came because they wanted a job, which I couldn't give them, mm-hmm. and uh, they left quickly. Mm-hmm. And other people came because they saw it as an opportunity to get involved with the community and it was something different. Mm-hmm. And the fact that one of the things we do that empowers people is we let them make the endorsements. Mm-hmm. We have a real vote. And we, as a group, decide, you know, in the, in the old style, you know, all the way back to Richard J. Daly, he would just come out and tell you, this is our slate for 2008, and that would be it. And everybody just fell in line and did it. Um, that's still the way a lot of the board organizations work. The committeeman just says, this is the way it's going to be. I decided that the best way to do it was to have everybody have some say, mm-hmm. to empower people and let them have a chance to participate. And, you know, I went out and just got as many people involved as possible. Rogers Park's a great community, 49th Ward in general. You know, it's pretty much all Rogers Park now. There's a little bit of Edgewater and a little bit of yeah. Westridge. But, you know, it's a great place to live. And if, if you don't live in Rogers Park and you're watching this, really, you know, you're missing out on something really good. You should come up here and, and see what it's like and maybe think about moving up here because this is a wonderful community. And if you came here, you would be happy.